na mtazamaji uh, kipindi ni tuongea asubuhi na hii ni sehemu ya habari kuu mimi naitwa Paul Mabuga uh, leo hii tunaye uh, Mark Childress ye ni balozi wa Marekani hapa nchini balozi Childress ni mwanasheria mtaalamu wa mifumo katika maeneo ya kilimo afya na mazingira amefanya kazi katika miula yote miwili ya utawala wa rais wa Marekani Barack Obama uh, na anayewakilisha nchi yake hapa nchini tangu mwezi Mei e, tarehe mbili mwaka huu. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Naam. Na mdogo kwa kuanzia tu mheshimiwa balozi, nini hasa kimo kwenye mpango huu wa Mandela Washington Fellowship? Uh, well, I've just met with some of our uh, fellows that have returned the Mandela Fellows and uh, the interesting thing about the program as you know it's evolving over time. Uh, it only started a few years ago under President Obama. But as of now, uh, the program has sort of three large components. It has a civic engagement component, it has a business and entrepreneurship component, and it has a component about public management. Uh, and I think within those three uh, sectors, there is a, a real desire to bring individuals uh, from Tanzania uh, and across Africa back to the United States to meet with people who have expertise in these areas. Uh, and frankly, one of the real advantages is not only that Tanzanians get to meet with people from the United States who have expertise in this area, but they get to meet with people from all over Africa. And I think one of the things that the, uh, that the Mandela Fellows that I met with today had found most rewarding was that opportunity. So I think it's both focused in some specific issue areas um, um, of, uh, of real importance to them as they move forward, but also just a unique opportunity to be able to meet and communicate with people from all over Africa. Na mheshimiwa balozi na hali kadhalika mtazamaji kabla tujaendelea na kipindi chetu cha habari kuu uh, leo tunaye Marekani ambaye anatwanga Kiswahili utafikiri anatoka kariya koo na hapa ana wimbo wake amesema makususi kabisa kwa ajili ya kipindi hiki Obama ano ambia ninyi ninyi ni muhimu kujenga taifa la kesho Johnny watumishi Johnny wana harakati Johnny wana siri mali viango Let you lay, Johnny Pamoja. I'm Jatelewa, Tanzania, in the Wahitaji. Johnny Vijana, Johnny, you want to walk, Johnny, you want to woman, the young Africa. Mwanza kwa ajili ya kuzungumzia orari maalum sana kutoka Rais Obama viongozi vijana wa Afrika omba um, na labda kwa mpango huu wa kuendeleza vijana kwa viongozi wa kesho bara la Afrika uh, unategemea labda uh, Afrika itegemee nini na hasa sa mwananchi um, wa kawaida wa chini ategemee nini kutokana na na hili Yes, I think, look, the, the real uh, benefit, I think, um, and we were just talking about this as I met with some of the Mandela fellows today, uh, is that uh, as they come back to Tanzania, uh, there, is a, there, there is a history behind them of people that have participated in this program and have made contributions to Tanzania and to all across Africa. There is a history ahead of additional Mandela fellows that will go to the United States and, and come back. And I think that if you think about uh, the, the three sectors that we talked about, uh, you know, civic engagement, uh, business and entrepreneurship and public management. Um, so many of the problems that are challenges in Tanzania today fit into the, one of those categories. And I think having these young, enthusiastic individuals who've had a chance to get additional training and additional opportunities in America and then come back to Tanzania um, is, a, is, a unique, uh, is a unique program and one that I think we're very proud of. Tatizo hasa la Africa ni viongozi kutanguliza zaidi masla binafsi na tunasikia matatizo ya rushwa tunasikia matatizo ya kutofata misingi ya utawala bora uh, sasa labda hali kama hii itatuliwa vipi na mpango kama huu 
ili kusudi angalau uweze kuwa wa manufaa zaidi uh, kwa wananchi wa kawaida. Well, you know, I've just spent a couple of hours with some of these Mandela fellows and we were talking about some of the um, some of the activities that we'd like to undertake with them together. Uh, and I'll tell you, there was one theme uh, that kind of ran through all of the ideas uh, and all the activities and experiences that we were sh that they were sharing um, with me, and it's this: it's really a question of transparency. Uh, it's a question that at, uh, these young leaders are frankly not satisfied um, with lack of transparency in government. They're not satisfied with lack of transparency in business. Um, they're, they're they're simply demanding that we find a better way to make sure that everyone who has information that's in the public interest is sharing that with the public. And I think that is the right antidote to some of these big problems that, as you say, are, are, are real challenges in Africa. Uh, na unafikiri kwamba mtanzania wa kawaida atanufaika namna gani mheshimiwa balozi Well I think um, I think that one of the things that's exciting about what we were just talking about um, is that uh, the Mandela fellows are quite um, enthusiastic about being very practical with how um, they approach some of these activities um, and I think one of the things that we're going to find is that uh, they are not satisfied with abstractions. They're not satisfied with sort of policy pronouncements. They actually want to get down into programs that have immediate impact in communities and in regions and districts. And we were discussing some of the ways to do that, and we're looking forward uh, in the months ahead for us to be partners with them in doing that. And I think that's, you know, what you, what you really want to see with these sort of talented young people is that they come back not with a sense that they've created a new opportunity for themselves, uh, but that there's a new opportunity for their country. And I felt that very strongly. I've seen that in these individuals as we sent them off, and I've seen that even more keenly as I've met with them as they've returned. Na mfikiria mwana nishi wa kawaida aliyeko kijijini, anaishi katika maenewa ambayo huduma sio zinapatikana sana kwa ufasaha na kuzifikia. Na mfikiria mwana nishi huu ya ni. Na jebu kuwanisha na umpango wa watu na kuanda nje na kufundishwa juu ya namna kufanya uongozi bora kwamba matatizo yake ya takuguso namna gani ya hakuna maji, ya hakuna umeme, uh, na pengine hakuna uduma nzuri za afya na elimu. Yeah, it's good. It's interesting. It's, um, they've, uh, they've just uh, spent some time together talking about how to do this very thing. And one of the things that I was struck by is that uh, some of the programs that we're talking about are not, in fact, federal programs at all but they're programs that are trying to drive down to the level of mayors and of district commissioners and of regional commissioners and trying to make sure that you can identify public servants, individual public servants, and try to explain to them how there are real ways and opportunities for them to do better jobs for these individuals uh, and try to make those programs more efficient. And I think it's interesting, if you think about it, a lot of people think that so much happens at the federal level in countries, and it does, right? But you point out correctly that for individuals at the, at, in, in villages and in towns and in cities, they really need help much more close to home. And I think one of the things we're seeing is that these Mandela fellows are trying to do that, and I think they will. Na angalia pia mpango huu na matatizo kwa mfano tumesema matatizo ya rushwa kuto kwepo kwa misingi bora ya utawala bora Afrika matatizo kama haya ambayo na usiana na naprekea uh, labda tusiyo na uongozi imara miongoni mwa viongozi wetu bala na Afrika. Uh, kwa mpango huu nafikia jinsi gani kwa mfano mtu ataondoa rushwa kwa jamii yake kama kiongozi kijana. Jinsi gani atafanya misingi ya utawala bola ifuatu. Ni maswala ambayo najiuliza. Yes, well, it's always, uh, corruption is always uh, very difficult and one of the reasons corruption is difficult is because it's so many levels, right? But one of the things that I found incredibly um, inspiring about these Mandela fellows that I've met with is that they, every one of them understand that their ability to affect change of the sort that you're talking about requires them to make alliances and cooperative relationships with civic leaders, with government officials, with religious leaders, with people in these communities. And that's frankly what, from their perspective, those are the audiences that they're focused on. And I think that's how you get the leverage to take the fact that these individuals uh, have learned new skills and have learned new contacts, but their whole goal here is not to employ it just as an individual, but to find how to leverage that within the communities. And I think that's the way to start on problems like this. Najibu kufikiria kwamba kupambana na rushwa kwa kijana mdogo 
uh, na kuna vigogo ambao wana uwezo mkubwa na wanaofaika na rushwa jinsi gani ataweza kupambana nayo lakini wakati yeye akiwa ni kiongozi kijana well, I think the only way to level it up is as we've discussed is to try to make the communities that they reach out to and what they've been thinking about and working with is to try to go to some very specific communities where they have contacts, where they have relationships and try to build from the ground up. I mean, you're absolutely right. Um, it can sometimes be very frustrating to look at the scope of problems like corruption. But my experience is that the way to, um, to dismantle big, big problems like corruption is one brick at a time. And I think that's what these, uh, what these Mandela fellows want to try to do. Uh, nimejibu kufuatilia uh, wasifu wako na naona kwamba umefanya kazi kwa karibu sana na Rais Barack Obama. Uh, unafikiri nini hasa kilichomsukumu Rais Barack Obama kuja na mpango huu na kutumia rasilimali nyingi kuhakikisha kwamba unafanikiwa na kwamba sio labda ni mpango tu wa Marekani kwamba kujenga maraisi wa baadaye eh, wa Afrika kwa manufaa ya Marekani. <laughs> Um, no, I think, uh, I think it's very interesting because I, uh, I did work uh, with, with President Obama closely and I think uh, he's been quite, uh, he's been quite uh, transparent about what his motivations were here. And I think the motivations um, um, were simply to make sure that Africans had an opportunity on an ongoing basis uh, early in their professional careers to uh, benefit from their experiences with people in, in the United States and in the education system and business system and government. And that the people in the United States had that same opportunity to benefit from, from meeting with and spending time with these young uh, professionals. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, um, one of the key goals for President Obama was to make sure that this does not simply feel like it was a bilateral relationship, in other words, that uh, because, you know, we, we obviously have an enormously productive bilateral relationship with Tanzania, right? Uh, but the goal here was to make sure that as these individuals came from different African countries, that they had a unique opportunity to meet with people from outside their country. And, and again, as I said today, one of the things that has struck me is that our Mandela Fellows, um, almost, almost uh, to, to a man or woman, have felt like that was one of the most beneficial parts of the program. Not merely the program, the curriculum itself, but the opportunity to make sure that they could meet with like-minded people that were not Tanzanian, but that were from different parts of Africa. These were some of the key goals that President Obama has had, and I think that I think we're seeing that realized. Sio mara kwa kwanza kuwa Afrika, ni moja kwa mbomu fanya kazi in Nigeria na na unauzoefu kwa kiasfani kuhusu Afrika. Kwa kwewe uongozi Afrika mana kenini. Yes, I think you're right. I think uh, this is not my first time in Africa. I've, I've lived in Africa in, uh, in a number of different places. Um, the truth is there's nothing unique about leadership in Africa uh, that is not also obtained in leadership in other places. I think that's a bit of a canard that there's this uh, distinction, right? The reality is um, you've asked me several times today uh, in, ver in, in a very um, quite eloquent way about how to address the challenges of corruption, for example, right? Um, an individual who's going to be a leader in Africa has to face that. Uh, you've asked me about the problems that of common people in small villages and small towns and that they have unique challenges that they need to have addressed. A leader in Africa has to find a way to address that, just as a leader in any other country has to. The reality is that the problems that have happened in Africa over the last 10 years are in no way the problems that will happen over the next 10 years. And leaders have to be able to see, as we say in the United States, around that corner and see what some of the challenges are going to be and start addressing them early. Because as we've learned, uh, not addressing big problems and letting them fester uh, is the worst form of leadership. And what's exciting about these Mandela Fellows is that they are all incredibly focused on how to look around that corner and how to help Tanzania be ready to address those new uh, and challenging problems, but to be ready for the extraordinary opportunities that await Tanzania as well. Um, Kwa nini Afrika haisongi mbele? Kwa nini Afrika haipendi, haipati maendeleo, licha ya kuona rasimai za kutosha, uh, licha ya kuwa na watu wengi? Lakini kwa nini hasa haipati hai maendeleo kama nchi nyingine ambavo zimeendelea? Na uongozi unaweza kufanyaje kuhusiana na hii? Well, it's a pretty, uh, as you point out, uh, it's, a, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty broad question because you've just given me 12 million square miles of territory to try to answer. Um, let me just say in the simplest terms, um, that I think uh, what, we've, what we've begun to see and what's exciting about many places in Africa uh, is that there is significant economic growth on a sustained basis. What we've not seen 
uh, to the level that I think we want and I think Tanzanians want is true, you know, Mandaleo and Delevu, real development, right? That is sustained for all the people in countries uh, and that gives the sort of broad-based economic lift that we're, that we're looking for. So I think the real key here is that we need leaders that can make that transition from merely having economic growth into having the type of sustainable development that I think Africans want and that Africans need. And I think the truth is that we've seen some real progress in that regard, um, but there's a lot more to do. Uh, and I think that's one of the benefits of a program like the Mandela Fellows. Nam, asante sana Balozi. Ashkuru sana. Asante sana. Na yuko ni faraja sana kwa nawe. Nam, mtazamaji, tuikuwa nae Balozi wa Marekani ya Panchin, Mark Childress. Tuikuwa nae tukiangalia masuala mazima ya uongozi katika semu hii ya kipindi cha tuongea subuhi. Na ito Paul Mabuga na kwa sasa na kuwaga, likuendelea na semu hii.